Moody. To try and take on Daniel Johnson, forced into a tough two. Good enough to finish. A welcome addition for Adam Ford. Moody from the free throw line knocks it down. First result that matters. It's the ultimate result, and ultimately they're going to be a whole lot better with Ryan Brogoff in their team. Still a long way to go in the season. Moody from the free throw line. Yourself feeling good. Things start to open up. Moody likes the look of this matchup on Wetzel, finishes. Tough finish, because you know. Came there in year one and only seven in year two. This is that Mooney bucket down the other end. He's eating Wetzel up. Right now. Play the Taipans in a rescheduled game for Phoenix fans who are watching and for Hoops fans in general. Mooney knocks it down. Wagstaff knocked down a couple of big threes in the second term as well. Mooney, nice D from Hunter, but Mooney's still good enough to... Perhaps they can't do that, so Magne and, and Mooney will be working together. Mooney, again, this time with a hand in the face. They go back down in the low block to Mooney. It's worked for them all first. Going to produce enough to provide the support cast for Bryce. The shot clock at four. Oh. Mooney got past Johnson. Wraps it up underneath. Drive baseline was so easy. And one. The game was 16, 11 and 7 against the Phoenix back in the opening route. Mooney from close range just continues to get it done. 15 points. Rebound of the Wildcats. A couple of those already. Moody good enough to score. He's back to the basket. Faces up on Ogilvy. Extends and scores. That is really tough. And he just drove to his spot, went to the middle of the the, uh, the key. But you have a look at Moody down here. Just they decide not to send the double team, and with his athleticism, a little hitch in that shot serves him well. Mooney backs in, loves that shot, loves it from that spot. Perth fans love what they're seeing in this last quarter. You've you got to go earlier on Mooney. He's gone through, excuse me, it's Jessup, and just trying to stunt, and Simon's not big enough. He's always going to be able to get that shot. Just having one of those nights where it won't go down. Blanchfield, likewise. Doesn't even matter, they're getting all these offensive rebounds. And there's Cotton, and that just hurts. He's got a bit of, bit of a break after tonight. Adelaide. They'll take on oh. Mooney. Puts it back in. They'll take on Cairns next summer. On defense. Nice to see Cam Besto back in the Illawarra lineup too after injury. Wagstaff. He'll claim that as a pass. He's finding the going tough tonight. Now he's finding it tougher because he has to guard Cotton. There's Mooney. Cotton have been a nice combination for the Wildcats. The Mooney steps out. Chase the oh! He started behind the three-point line. And he's hyping up the Red Army. He finishes in the air. Jacks up the three. Nobody bucks him out. He goes right down the lane and cleans up his mess. Beautiful putback. Norton. John Mooney! What a massive play. The timing was perfect. Oh my goodness. The one hand collect and the flush with authority from John Mooney. He was happy too. He is. Something he should be. Yeah. Oh, nice little strut. Let's see if the Wildcats can make them pay, which they do so often and better than anyone else. What a pass! From Norton to Mooney, he's got five, just able to just essentially lay it in right at the rim. Mooney inside. He's able to get it only the second field goal in the quarter for the Wildcats. And just able to pull in the second quarter for Randolph. Gives the breakers back the lead. Great pass, Cotton. Mooney, we've said it a lot already. We're going to say it a lot for the rest of the season as well. Same side. There's Trev. Nice pass for Cotton and oh. Mooney rolls to the cup with the duck. Welcome to the game, Mooney. Welcome. <laughs> In with the two hands. And 
That's just a little slow in the rotation there. Scotty Hobson. Average is, but I think that Dean would be more concerned about what's going on the defensive end. It's Moody, tough wraparound. Lansfield. Oh, nice little give and go, just a little pocket pass. Iverson couldn't get ahead. Right, three of three and enjoying this game so far. Still early days, so has a chance to have a big fill up. But on the other end, Mooney and Bryce Cotton, what a great one two punch those two have. Work he's doing down this end. And Phoenix will not go away. Cotton, a sensational find for Mooney. Huge minutes right now, because Rasmus Bark is in the game. Randolph sitting down. He was doing everything. And that's going to be a tough start. Yeah, first of all, thank you for that backhanded compliment, Casey. I can only imagine what it's like to be your wife. Uh, and also, the way the horse started that third quarter was incredible. The timer got to the last minute. He short-armed a few, and he was just gassed. That's how you got to be. Just in the, you got to know he's going to be great as Mooney knocks on. Those outs are coming a little late. That time Todd Blanchfield, Dean Vickerman can see that he was wide open. And again, Mooney wide open from the three-point line and drains it. A couple of games ago, but he's confident and aggressive here in this one. Long range two from John Mooney. Showing he's got range. You'll have to claim your free cheeseburger from the West and say thank you to Ty Webster when you do as Mooney, the other end, makes him pay. And that's a horrible fourth quarter start. He said, I don't care about the missed shots. We're getting great looks. What I do care about is getting three stops in a row. Nice work, Narrowly. Here's Mooney punching down the three. Come up with his first field. His ability to face up, make moves on bigger opponents. Guys like Luke Travers. There he got right to the rim. John Mooney. Two and a half minutes of court time for Colton Iverson. Talking double-doubles, we've made a lot of this man being able to do what he's done. And this time, a three is nothing but... Doing the ball well from outside. I love when he rips. When he catches and rips without thinking about it, he catches guys off guard. And John Mooney, he hasn't missed too many of those wide-open ones. Shot the ball at a ridiculous clip. And 13 rebounds, 20 points. He's in for a big one right now. It's career high. He's about to extend oh, oh. that right now for another three ball. 23 points, 13 balls. The box buster. And they've gone out of it here. They're back into the man of man because him at the free throw. Here line, we oh, go. Don't tell me. The oh, ball money. <laughs> it will be discussed more and more. Adam is caught. Left open. You can't leave that man with a millimeter. Upper body was able to finish. He's got 17 points to go with his eight rebounds. Wagstaff is free, bombs away. Blanchfield muscled in on Creek, got his own offensive rebound. And here's Cotton, floats through the air and scores. Adelaide leading by four. Wagstaff was left open. And we know what happens when he's open. Defense, and you come back and you're in a scrambling okay, situation yeah. because you've tried to get that double team. There's a talk about a great pass. That is a Long, really direct. Go off the bounce, penetrate, and pitch. Nice pass, Mooney, for Norton. Wagstaff got deep and finishes under pressure. Two points the difference. Bryce Cotton scoring apple with one guy. Had 19 on Sunday. Mitch Norton in the win over Adelaide. Here's Mooney rolling to the basket. And scoring the three ball by Creek had really gone back in the game when they all looked lost 17 points down early in the fourth against Adelaide. It's Cotton and Mooney went down earlier tonight in a pretty disappointing performance against the New Zealand Breakers. Cotton wrap around pass for Mooney, he's doing it all. Here's Bryce Cotton just making he sees Wetzel come over, he knows Mooney's going to be there. Seen his team at one stage lead by 16 going into half time. Off the inbound. That is too. It's long guarded by Abercrombie. Norton looks right back to the pass. Floyd Mooney for the jump. And we're all tied. Four seconds to go. It's the play that created the layup for Wagstaff against South East Melbourne earlier in the year. And here they get Mooney on the back up. The flush. It was the surprise move. Dan Greedham into the starting lineup tonight. Mooney off the inbound. 
Well, they've run that play every single time. Baseline out of bounds. Well, what a move at the other end by John Mooney. Fake the hand up. Out of the building. This is a big game for Adam Ford. It's been eight seasons at Perth. All that time under Trevor Gleeson. Oh, oh, big jam, John Mooney. Wildcats still trailing by nine in this opening quarter. White and Mooney combine a little two-man game, and the points are good. I thought he was going to be a good pro, but they didn't think he was going to be this sort of pro. He's been outstanding. And you just see him growing weak. Pinder's doing straight to well, Wagstaff. It was a great play, but Pinder just stuck to the script. He didn't realise that Giddy had fallen over, and the open man was the big fella. DJ was wide open for a three. Once that went underneath. I don't know, I missed that. And Mooney takes the bump, scores. And Mooney, he's been pretty quiet on the offensive pass over recent games. So, see if he can get some positioning and some work done there tonight. And there's that matchup that he spoke of homicide moments ago. Iverson v Mooney. Iverson, this is the, the issue that the big fella has had at times over the course of the year, is foul trouble. Jeez, that is a sight. That was set up from Josh Giddy with a great cut to the basket. His man had to help off. They got an easy one. Mooney stepping out. He's a good three-point shooter for a big man. Mooney boxed him out nicely. Bryce Cotton. Mooney talked about his range earlier. He's got right. Draws a double team, drops it to Mooney, uses the left hand while evading Corey. They're up six, and they beat the press. Travers again for Mooney. It's party time at RAC. Block, block number five for the Hawks as a team. Cotton comes up with it. Oh, Magnificent pass to Mooney, and one play coming up. Like you said, Jack, to Mooney. Even easier, easier. Someone who plays such a confidence player like that as Pinder turns it over again. Then you want those confidence players going because they're going to get the crowd into it. Oh my. You see Mooney down the middle.